Closer to the water. Are you sure? Trust me on this. Great civilizations were built near the large bodies of water. Think of the Nile and Egypt. You see, rivers and seas provide access to food and transport. Imagine Mesopotamia, Rome, London, Venice. Mesopa what? I just wanted to build a sand castle. Only a sand castle? You have to see the bigger picture. Well, whatever. Let's get started. At this rate, we're never going to be able to finish our great civilization. Let me think. Hmm. What if we built a dam that will stop the water from washing away the sandcastle? Instead of just moving farther away from the water? Where's your imagination, Tina? Fine. <laughs> Hooray! We did it! <laughs> what did I tell you? I am truly a master engineer. Our sandcastle will stand forever. It will face anything. No storm or tsunami can ever... You were saying? I imagine the great cities didn't use sand for building dams. Hey, look! It's Terry! Look! <laughs> Dugong is with him! <laughs> Kylo and Tina! How are you doing, my friends? We're doing great! <laughs> yep! But we have a problem. Problem? What is it? We want to build the biggest sand castle ever! <laughs> but the water keeps washing it away. Sand castles! <laughs> That sounds like fun! But Dugong asked me if I could help her clean up the beach. Would you like to join us? Please! We need all the help we can get to make the beach beautiful again. Clean up the beach? Sure! We'd love to help! But I've already had to fix my stuff this morning. Fine. Let's tell Mom and Dad first. Mom, Dad, can we go with Terry to help clean the beach? Sure. Don't go too far. No problem. When you said clean up the beach, I never thought... How did this happen? Sometimes visitors have picnics on the beach. It's always fun in the beginning, but they don't clean up after. Dugong is right! Dugong needs our help! A clean beach is more fun! So what are we waiting for? Let's get started! <laughs> cool! All our friends are here! <laughs> uh, Let's get started! What are you looking at? Do you see that? See what? The 
sky. It just smiled at me. Okay, but we need your help. We found a turtle stuck in a net. A net? Oh no! Let's go and save it! Tina and Carlo, to the rescue! There you are, my friend. where sky and sea first met and became friends. This is what sea creatures call Friendship Beach. It all begins with the story of the spring tide. What spring tide? I don't see flowers anywhere. Spring tide is another name for high tide. I don't get it. High tide is when the sea level rises. It's a naturally occurring phenomenon. When does it happen? I'm not sure. You will. Let me tell you the story. A long, long time ago, the earth, seas, and sky were all protected by magical guardians. Guardians? What do you mean, Terry? Like parents? Very much like parents. These guardians were never allowed to mingle, but instead take care of their respective dominions. It's not you, it's me. The sun guardian had a daughter named Luna. Luna was the princess of the moon and was known across the lands for her beauty. Luna had traveled across the heavens to meet friends, and she found herself wandering outside of her father's kingdom. She wandered so far that she reached a place where the sky and sea met, a place made of white dust and colorful stone. That's how Luna found Mare the son of the sea guardian. The two became good friends. Mare would dance and play music, while Luna would tell stories about her home. They made a pact to try and see each other as often as they could. The two kept their promise and met every year since. One day, the Sun Guardian found out of his daughter's secret meetings. He was angered at his daughter's disobedience for she had not followed his law. She had also broken the laws of the immortals and met with a prince who was not of their own. The Sun Guardian took in his daughter and hid her behind the clouds, where she could not be seen by anyone. That's horrible. We need clouds! I wanted to be the princess! This doesn't even look like a cloud. There are no small parts, only small actors. <laughs> Though clearly, we're at a shortage on that. Speak for yourself! How many lunches have you had today? Let Harry finish the story! Then, the Sun Guardian sent a message to the Sea Guardian, telling him that his son disobeyed the law. 
the Sea Guardian locked him in one of the palaces under the sea. That's a dumb law. I know. That's why nobody follows it anymore. Finish the story, Terry. Luna stayed hidden behind the clouds. She became very sad and missed Mer greatly. Finally, she escaped. Committed to finding her friend, she took a golden chariot and rushed to their old meeting place, thinking that he would be there waiting. When she got there, she realized that Mayor had not come. At the thought of this, she started to cry, her tears falling into the sea. Luna cast a reflection on the water that reached all the way to where Mayor was imprisoned. Mayor decided then that he needed to see his friend. The sea became restless as Mayor realized that the only way he could escape was to transform himself into water. Every time he wanted to see Luna, all he needed to do was make the ocean rise up. And all Luna needed to do was cast her reflection on the water to meet him. This calls for a song. I should have known this was going to lead to a musical number. The beach is a place where many creatures meet. Birds land and nest and animals go their feet. The beach is a place where people come and play. Where Luna and Mark watch over till this very day. Wow! That was one interesting story! Of course, it's only a legend. It was handed down to us by our ancestors. Now, to honor them, we will tell their stories. So what should we do? Can we play on the beach instead? Okay, <laughs> let's build sand castles to honor the ancestors! Okay, I initiate a sandcastle building contest. Whoever builds the best sandcastle gets to have extra dessert after dinner. Great idea! I'm going to build the most beautiful sandcastle ever! <laughs> what a dreamer! No one gets in the way of me and dessert. With my G-Tron 3000, I can design a sandcastle that will stand the test of time. <laughs> this is going to be fun! I just love building sandcastles! Some people are so easy to please. <laughs> Look up in the sky! It's the moon! Wow! It's so pretty! Hey! Watch where you're going! Remember, like the legend says, when the moon is up, the sea rises to greet her. Are we safe? Sure! As long as we feel far from the shore, we'll be fine. <laughs> I was just wondering, are Luna and Mare still friends? Oh yes, they still meet. That is why when there is a full moon out, it's always high tide. See what happens when you don't mind your surroundings? Cool! So we better hurry up and finish our sand castles before the tides come in! Find a place to start Get your handy plastic shovel And make a work of art Let's build a sand castle Sand castle Sand castle Let's make a work of art 
Let's make a work of art. See? What do you think of that? Nothing beats hard work and ingenuity. That was super fun! <laughs> what else can we do on the beach? A Let's fly kites! Great idea! You call what a castle? I can't believe this. This? This bottle? <laughs> Say, King of the Beach? <laughs> Harry, after all we've been through, I am so hurt. A beach party? And you didn't even think to invite me? I feel so betrayed. And just for that, I will take this beach and you all will be my prisoners! <laughs> Great civilizations were built by the sea, and soon I will build my own! I will call it the Great Gradius Empire! <laughs> Like stealing candy from a baby. <laughs> oh no! Ah! For those kids and that monkey rat. Hey, it's time for dinner. Don't want to keep your mom and dad waiting. Thanks for helping us clean the beach. <laughs> we had a swell time. <laughs> We've also learned valuable lessons today. Oh, never build on the sand, that's for sure. Or near the water. When there's a full moon, the tide rises up. And we should always clean up after ourselves. Because good kids, do you still have time for a beach party? Great idea! Carlo, Tina, why don't you invite your parents? We can have a party all together! Great idea! Hiya, friends! Had fun? Join us once again as we go on an adventure on Journey with Terry. Don't forget, good kids, fun kids. See you soon. Arr